type. In the last video lesson, we showed you the ISO profile in our backend application with Postman. So in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to show, I mean, the user profile in our front-end application with React. So if you are new to this channel, consider to subscribe. Without wasting time, let's begin. Okay, guys, so basically what we are trying to do so here, so um, for example, let's say we have a, a user name do at gmail.com. Let's put the password. Um, okay, so now, just for now, nothing happened. Only the successful notification message, okay? So um, we're going to go to our code editor. Whenever user is signed in, we're going to redirect this user to his dashboard. So uh, let's go to our code editor to make it happen. Okay, so uh, let's go inside the front end folder. Okay, in the source. Okay, in the um, I mean pages folder. I'm gonna create I mean a new folder name. Let's say um, user. Okay, and inside user, I'm gonna create I mean a new file name. Uh, let's say. Uh, user user dashboard okay dot js okay i think that's it and now r a f c e to create i mean um, i mean a functional component okay this will be our function okay like so but uh, i'm gonna return it uh, so like so okay let's remove this and let's say um h1 okay let's say user for now a static text user dash board okay so um, let's save Okay, and now what we are going to do, I'm gonna go inside. Uh, first of all, I should create the route. Okay, let's go inside the app. Okay, so let's import first of all. I mean, our user dashboard import. Um, let's me let me put it. I mean, below sign in import. I mean let's copy this line okay i'm gonna import i mean um, user user dashboard okay let's say we are in app okay we are here app okay so i'm gonna need to go i mean inside pages okay so inside pages inside we have a uh, user okay slash user and after that let's remove this okay it should take it automatically yes sir okay user dashboard okay and uh, now i'm gonna create i mean the wild okay like so the component will be let's say the what will be um oops will be user slash dashboard okay and the component will be user dashboard okay i think that's it and now we want to test our our what to see if everything is working fine so let's uh, go to here we're gonna test our what it is user dashboard okay okay so oh i put oh i made a mistake here uh this is a dashboard okay dashboard okay like so and let's go back 
and as you can see guys we have user dashboard okay now that we have our wout okay the user dashboard wout warning okay and we also have i mean uh, the user dashboard page so uh, let's continue i'm gonna what we are going to do i'm going uh, to make a request on this endpoint okay get me as you can see and the user should be authenticated to see his profile okay and you know the api we prefix our api with uh, our endpoint with api okay so let's go back here and we're gonna need um, i mean some react hooks so i'm gonna need uh, the use state use state hooks and also um user effect okay this one from react and um, from now so let's create um i mean uh, let's create uh, a profile to receive the value when we make the, the request so uh okay profile okay profile and set profile okay like so and uh uh yes it okay and I'm gonna leave it for now empty okay so now we're gonna use uh, the use effect group okay okay and you know use effect accept function okay so we're gonna make an our function okay so from uh, now i'm gonna use the fetch fetch api okay to fetch the request okay fetch and uh, as you know we prefix our endpoint with the api and slash get me okay get me okay so uh, after that uh, then okay we have the response okay and uh, what we want to return let's return we're going to return some json okay where's this res or response if you want that json we're gonna return some json and uh, then okay so uh, the result okay so let's uh, make a test console that log okay let's say um console that log let's log I mean, the result to to read what we what we get okay and uh, after that we also need to set i mean profile okay set profile okay to receive i mean uh, um result that user but uh, i know i have this user in the result but for now let's comment this okay so we we need to catch error okay so that catch okay okay error okay what we want to do console for now dot log okay error okay i think that's it for now okay so i think that's it so one other thing one other thing we should do when the user is authenticated we should redirect to the to his dashboard okay for doing this i'm gonna go in sign in okay i'm gonna um need uh, I'm gonna get history okay here okay history and after we confirm okay data success okay
okay true okay what uh, else we want to do okay history okay the push okay we're gonna push the user to <clears throat> the endpoint it will be um, uh, um i will push it to his dashboard i mean we will need uh, slash uh, user slash uh, dashboard this is the endpoint dashboard okay like so okay so after that uh, uh let's give it a try okay so here okay let me let me go to the sign in page okay but i'm gonna add the navigation to make it more easy let's verify if uh, the user will be redirected okay to his dashboard first okay let's say i have a uh, though um, at uh, gmail.com and the password okay as you can see the user is redirected automatically to his dashboard but uh, um i have something i forgot to 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 do I will not get back but just before let's inspect the event let's look in the console okay so so as you can see um, so as you can see you see the user here okay the user success true and you see everything about the user that is currently logged okay though uh, that gmail so we're gonna <laughs> populate those information these informations here in the user dashboard so let's go back okay so here i forget to add uh, in uh, uh, let's say in the dashboard i forgot to add uh, i mean uh, this one dependency we're gonna leave an array here okay so i think that's it so what we are going to do we're gonna show the user information here but we don't think i forget to show you in the response okay so you see user okay you see we have user here so what we are going to do if we go back okay this is here that come result that user i've showed you the user okay so i'm gonna uncomment this okay and now i know what i have in the result i'm gonna comment this console log okay and now let's output the user information here okay so now um okay so we have set profile to the result that user okay and now let me show you here so I'm gonna make uh, some mistake here. Okay, let's make some indentation. So I want uh, this one to be um, okay. So let's say we have user dashboard. I'm gonna duplicate this line two times, and now. What we could do, okay, since we have um, all the user in this profile, to access the user, we're gonna open here, show you, okay, now we are in JavaScript, okay, profile, that <clears throat> name, okay, so um, let me go back and before going back, let me add this one. And I need a profile that email. Okay, so let's go here to the user dashboard to get our information. As you can see, guys, I have 
the user that is currently logged in john doe and this is doe i've showed you this was the email that was entered that was here i showed you in the console okay so john doe and um well let's go back okay but we could do this better let's this structure okay so uh, we're gonna we don't wanna keep writing profile that name etc i'm gonna this structure okay for now um cons okay i'm gonna uh, retrieve name email and uh from profile okay and what i'm going next instead of doing profile that name i'm gonna only need uh, only have to write okay okay name and email okay so let's see if we have uh, it should be okay okay should be okay and now let's go back we save and let's go back as you can see we have the same i mean information okay guys so we reached the end of this lesson so in the next video lesson i'm gonna add header and footer and uh, also add uh, the custom html for the user dashboard okay so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you have question please drop it in the comment section and uh, the more you like this video the more it helps with the youtube algorithm so from now thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye